Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com. I post weekly crafting, cooking, and even organic gardening videos right here on my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can use your slice digital cutter to create some fabric bookmarks. So now to show you how the slice works, I've designed these little fabric bookmarks that are super cute and you can make this with everything that comes just in the basic starter kit. This flower and these petals here and this leaf are all designs that are included in the applique basics card and um, I just used some tool here and so let me show you how to make these. So the first thing we'll do is prep our mat. Just put some on here and go all the way across. And when it's white, obviously, it, the glue is still wet. When it dries clear, then it will be ready to use. Okay, so this is nice and tacky to the touch and it's all completely dry. So to make our fabric bookmark, we're gonna need one, two, three, four, and five square pieces, you know, solid pieces. And then we're gonna need another fabric that's gonna make up the petals and the leaf on your flower. In order to do this, I've already went ahead and put out all the measurements for you. Uh, you can see right here what you need to cut out for the backing and the leaf and all that. What I like to use for this, which is the perfect size, are charms, um, you know, from quilting. We have pre-cut fabrics that are like charm packs and they come in five inch square pieces. And so they're the perfect size to use with your slice, okay? And it also is, the perfect size to use with these little sheets that were included in the slice for you. This is going to be the background for my flower here to cut it out. And what you want to do is prepare this like you would any other fusible applique that you make by putting the shiny side with the adhesive, right? This is the paper side. So the shiny adhesive side to the back side or the wrong side of the fabric. And I'm actually going to trim this down so I don't get any adhesive on my iron. I'm going to trim down the fusible web and then I'm going to hit it with an iron to fuse it into place. Now I'm going to lay my square on my little slice mat here. And you can just smooth it out from the center out, get it nice and flat. Or if you have that optional accessory that you can purchase separately, you would just roll this like that. Okay, so here's the card that comes with your slice called Applique Basics. You just open up the little thing, pull out the memory card, and you're going to insert it right here on the back with the sticker side up. So you just push it until you hear it click in there, okay? Then we're going to press the on button. This is the power button here. And you can see that it's already turned on. And now you can either press menu to go straight to the menu or just wait a few seconds. It'll take you straight there. Here, the one that's in black on the background means that that one is selected. I'm going to select it. And now it takes me into all the different categories. The flower that I need is in this category. So I'm going to go to the second one. And you just go by selecting your arrows until you get to the one that looks like the top of that category. Select. And then the flower that I need is this one here that has individual petals. And so to switch over pages, you do the double arrow forward key and that's going to take me to the next page. And then I can see that the flower I need is that one up top. It's already selected for me. Click select. For the bookmark, we're just going to leave it at normal and I want it to be at two and a half inches. So right here is two inch. If you press the arrow forward key, it goes up. Then I'm going to press select. And it has a little X right there, which is telling me where the cutter is going to start cutting as far as the design goes. And so that will help you place it on your mat. In this case, I'm just going to place it here. So I'm going to press the button here to get it to start cutting. And then I'm just going to lightly hold it into place to keep it from moving. So here's our flower. And peel each one back and put it aside. Or you can buy the optional accessory, of course, the little spatula. And I'm just going to take each one of these off. Now quickly I'm going to cut the little leaf out, which is the leaf that goes here. And that one is under this leaf category. For this project I need that one to be just the one inch. So I just go down to get it to one inch, press select, press this button on the side to start. That's it. And now. There's my little leaf that I need. Okay, so to make our little fabric bookmarks now, we need to put our little patchwork pieces together. So I've arranged these like this. So I'm gonna sew these three together and then these two together and I'm just using a quarter inch seam allowance. So now to our front and back pieces of the bookmark, I'm gonna take some lightweight, this is non-woven fusible interfacing. It's really lightweight and all that's gonna do is add a little bit more body to your bookmark without making it too stiff. Okay, so I'm gonna just lay this on my interfacing and cut around it. There's one. And then I'm gonna hit it with my iron to fuse it down. 
So this is the part that's really going to take the longest and it's to remove the paper backing off of each individual little piece. What I like to do for the smaller pieces is just take a pin and score the back, the paper side of it, so that it can rip it for me and then allow me to go back in there and just peel it off a lot easier. And then just start laying them in place. Now I've arranged the flower here exactly where I want it and then hit it directly from up top so that you don't run the risk of moving any of those petals and fuse everything into place. Now be mindful of where you're placing the different petals because you want to be at least that quarter of an inch away from each of the edges on here, here, and here, okay? Because that's going to be in your seam allowance. And now I'm going to go back with my sewing machine and stitch around this. Now you have a few different options. On this one, I just did a straight stitch. So the edge, even if it starts to come up a little bit, is going to add a little bit, like another layer of texture to it. And then on this one, I used a zigzag stitch all the way around each one. So you can play around with it um, and do whatever you want. This is just going to help keep this down into place. Now for the stem here, all I do is take a piece of tool. This measures about six inches by six inches. It's like a square. And just roll it on itself. It doesn't matter how. And then I'm just going to do a tight zigzag stitch all over this, okay? You won't be able to stitch down super tight at the beginning or at the ends, but that's okay because that will be trimmed off. So just start somewhere up here. And I've taken a few stitches, the needle is down, and I'm just going to twist this up. And what I'm doing is just guiding it down the center of my presser foot so that the zig and the zag, right, it goes right like that from side to side on the little tool stem here that we've created. And now you can see that I can lay this down and make it take whatever shape I want on my little bookmark. And then to, to stitch it down, you're going to do the same thing that you just did. So put it where you want it, take a few stitches, and then you want to back stitch to secure. And you can make it curve around or do whatever you want. And there's your stem. Now I've taken the other little leaf here and fused it into place, so now I'm going to stitch it down with that zigzag stitch again. For the tab up here, you're going to take your other piece of tool, 6 inch by 6 inch square. What I like to do is actually make a knot in the center. And then what I'm going to do is just fold this up and stitch it down to one of my pieces here. Either the back or the front, it doesn't matter. Just lay it in the center with that little knob there. You want it to stick out about a quarter of an inch up top. I'm going to place a pin here. And then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and just straight stitch this across real close to the top of my fabric here, about an eighth of an inch away. Okay, so that's been stitched into place. Now we're going to layer these up pretty sides together, pretty side to pretty side, and I still want this facing in. And if it's too bulky on you, you may want to twist this up and pin it through this top layer to help keep it away from the sides when you're sewing. So just hold it in through there. I'm going to pin all the way around and I'm going to leave a small opening right here at the bottom. So I'm only going to leave about an inch and a half opening down here, which seems a little small, but you'll still be able to make it work. I'm going to start here, you know, stitch all the way around, back stitching at the beginning and at the ends. Now I can remove this pin, stitched all the way around. I have my opening here. We want to clip those corners to reduce that bulk. You can remove that little lump up top too to reduce bulk. And then we're going to turn this inside out through here. Take your time because it's going to be a little tight. And that's it, your fabric bookmark is done and ready to use. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family across the different social media sites. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.